Welcome back to Lawrence, Kansas. Memorial Stadium on the campus of the University of Kansas at Covisto Field. Bill Land, Dave Lapham, Emily Jones with you. And a sold out full house, 50,000 plus here today for the eighth ranked Kansas Jayhawks to face the Nebraska Cornhuskers in Big 12 football action. And this should be a fun one here as the roles have been reversed. If you take a look at tradition, it was Nebraska that has dominated this series. Last year, they won in a double overtime. KU won the previous this year, this year, eight and zero, and you know, not only have they won uh, eight games, they've won eleven of their last twelve. I and mean, they're a good football team, and and they're playing very sound, fundamentally sound football, and and people really respect them. Kicking off, Adi Kunalik gave six foot, 175 pounder out of Fort Worth, Texas. Herford and McAnderson are deep, and this one will be downed. Reesing has thrown for 17 touchdowns at just four interceptions. Liberty Mutual with our starting lineups here, and we'll have a chance to follow up on this offensive line that has been sound led by Anthony Collins and the dual running back combination of Sharp and McAnderson that almost have identical numbers, although very different styles. First and 10 from the 20, and McAnderson pushes forward for a couple against the University of Nebraska says they're allowing 31 points a game and their run defense is last in the nation allowing 242 yards a contest Zach Potter one of those up front their linebacking core has been decimated by injuries Octavian McEwen and Wortman get the start today and you take a look at the rest of the starting 11 second and nine for Kansas here on their opening possession McAnderson not going down easy on a throwing situation. Third and six. Marisi rolling out and incomplete. Just off the fingertips of the win at AM. He averaged over 43. Got it. This one. They put the heat on and deflected. Nebraska staying away out near the 45 yard line. And it is Nebraska with great field position. And that's a nice uh, way to start if you're getting your first start at quarterback like Joe Gans is. Gans came on after Keller got hurt last week against Texas. Has time and completes it across the middle. And then the Kansas defense is all over swarming Sean Hill. And Joe Gans, the junior from Palos Heights, Illinois. He threw for a touchdown in his brief time in the Texas game. You see Lucky, who was a great dual performer. They've also got three receivers with 25 plus catches in Swift, Purify, and none. Gans on the season now is 11 for 18, and in those 11 completions, he's thrown four touchdown passes. That's in including this first play today. Second and six after that four yard pass. Lucky is smothered near the 41 yard line led up front by James McClinton an All-American candidate you're looking at Akeem Tlaib who anchors our secondary is also an outstanding receiver when needed and they've got a couple of monsters at linebacker in Holt and Joe Mortensen it is third down and five on Nebraska's first possession trying to take advantage of a short field after the block pump the pitch out hey Lou has the first down. France Hardy comes wide left. Halu is the lone back behind the quarterback Gans to throw it on first down. And he does complete it. And Nebraska fumbles the football, but he was down near the 20 yard line. First to 10 here for the Huskers. And the handoff, nothing doing this time. No gain that time. For they stopped KU, got a hand on a punt. And operating with a short field of second and ten right now. Play action and Gans in trouble. And intended for Hill. Third and ten. Lucky right next to Gans. Out of the gun this time. Gans's first start this season. And it is complete inside the five-yard line. And Nebraska knocking on the door. First down and goal to go from the three. Phillips leading the way for Lucky. And Lucky is stacked up. Well, I don't think he got anything. Holt again leading the way. Let's see what happens on this 14th opportunity. Second and goal. Play action. Gans. Under throwing. Looking for Hunter Tia Patiller. And it's now a third and goal. 
Gans to throw it again. Got time now. He'll keep the football. And Gans dives in for the opening touchdown, Nebraska. That's what I talked about with Gans, creating plays with his feet, creating and extending plays. Mark Mangino disappointed that Nebraska gets on the scoreboard first. It doesn't matter the quarterback. Alex Henry, the kicker, hasn't missed this season and is still perfect. 27 of 27 for Henry, 6'2", 170, redshirt freshman out of Omaha. And then the Huskers strike first against eighth-ranked Kansas. Gans with the TD. for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Herford and McAnderson are deep. Herford, the best in the country. Bring it on out. Uh -oh. 15, got a block, the 20, 25, and knocked out of bounds near the 32-yard line by Major Colbert. Taking it himself, so they accomplished two of their three goals immediately. Reese comes out fire on first and 10 and completes it to Dexton Fields. They're plus 11, Nebraska's minus nine. They want that to continue in the turnover department. Second and seven, Reese fires it to McAnderson, breaks the tackle and more, 50, cuts it back and across to inside the 30 yard line. Brandon McAnderson. He doesn't lose speed in pads. He carries his pads big time. 41-yard run, his longest of the season. Now they bring Jake Sharp back in, and he cuts it up for a few. A best receiving yardage was 38. And this time, 41 on the reception. The pitch back to Reese. Flicker. And it is complete inside the 15-yard line as Briscoe makes the grab. One of the second time that the opponent has scored first against Kansas this year as Nebraska jumped out early. K-State did it. KU came back to win that one. This ball is dropped at the eight-yard line. People have been running up and down the field like a track meet against this Nebraska defense. Henry wide right. They look that way, Reesing does. Then comes out, going in the end zone, and tipped by two different players, one from each club. Keep an eye on Kerry Meyer, the former quarterback, and the backup who is playing more and more as a wideout. Meyer, 10 receptions on the year. Reesing got him. Got Meyer and a touchdown, Kansas. They answered. They did. Hit Meyer in the slot, ran a little post. Big answer. Kerry Meyer with the TD reception. Meyer 6'3, 220 overpowers people for the touchdown. And the point after is good. And a 13 yard TD pass sets up Scott Webb for the PAT. He is 40 of 40. And just like that, we're knotted at seven here in Lawrence. Toyo Tire scoring drive, 68 yards, took just 210. Now the kickoff, and the ball goes to Grixby on the kick from Webb to the 25, and then into a pile near the 30 yard line is Courtney Grixby. They weren't behind for very long. Nebraska scored, Kansas came roaring right back down the field to tie it up. They don't like being behind people. First and 10 for Gans, and he tucks it under, and he's hit hard as they close quickly. James Holt. He completed a ball under pressure, and then he extended the play and took it to the end zone for himself for a score. He's creative back there. Second and five, and the handoff right up the middle. And Kansas defense tops in the Big 12 in fewest points allowed at 10.2, and in total defense allowing just 263.9 per game in total yardage. Wow. Somebody forgot Lucky. He's at the 50, the 40, a foot race. Lucky will score as he stays in bounds. And Nebraska gets another six. Yeah, that, that breaks Johnny Rogers' record set in 1972. His 56 catch goes to the house. How about that for Kansas? Lucky's wide open. And the kick is good. Henry boots it straight through. And with 4.58 to go in the first quarter, Nebraska bounces right back. Gans has scored one, throws a TD pass as Lucky takes it all the way. We'll show you what happened, how he got so wide open after the kickoff. Here. Yeah, Kansas is going to look at the game tapes and go, wait a minute, we didn't catch any breaks. Herford takes it at the two. 15. Looking for a, a block, and now brings it over the other side. He's at the 30, the 40, and Herford near midfield scampers out of bounds. He knows he's got Lucky out of the backfield. Holt tries to come out. Purified picks his bones clean. 
It's not supposed to be allowed. Boom, picks him clean. And there goes Lucky off to the races. Nobody in the vicinity and trying desperately to close the gap and make a play as Harper. But Lucky can scoot, and he was Gandhi. And a 48-yard kick return sets KU up first and 10 at the 50. Reesing unloads and incomplete. Let's check in now. And, uh, keeping us up to date throughout the afternoon. Henry, one of the wideouts, is reesing, tossing, looking, got him, and Henry makes the reception. Boy, what a nice touch pass. And a first and 10 at the 30 for the Jayhawks. And the handoff to Sharp, cuts it right back up and gets it across the 25 to the 24-yard line. On top in this one. You know what else he said, guys? You know what, sometimes you just got to be a little lucky. He's got a good lucky, and he has had some good luck today as well. Here's the end around, and Henry, he may score. Bumped out of bounds near the one-yard line. Boy, tip of the cap to you on that one. 23-yard pickup. Henry, wide to the right side here. Well, first and goal. McAnderson brought down from behind. Great pursuit. Wide open. In the end zone. Flag is thrown. Ball incomplete as Murillo was covering. Locking them up. Pass interference. Defense. Foul occurred in the end zone. The ball will be placed on the two-yard line. First down. And a first and goal to go from the two-yard line now. And the pitch. Easy. Touchdown, Kansas, as McAnderson strolls into the end zone. He gets his 10th rushing touchdown of the season. And KU comes right back. And it's 14-13 now. Amazing. This is like a tennis match. Boy, this has been an entertaining game. Webb with a point after attempt. It is good. So after Kansas being stopped on the first series of the game, it's been touchdown, 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 touchdown. Amazing. And once again, blocking, options run. Nobody has the pitch, man. Look at the blocking in the end zone. 18 touchdowns, four picks. That ratio is huge. And the kickoff. Rixby from about the 11 to the 20, 25. Ooh. And upended and hit hard near the 30-yard line. It's almost 50-50 balance in terms of distributing the ball to those two outstanding backs. They average 6.3 per carry across the middle. This one deflected as Gans trying to light them up. They know where to be, what to do. Lucky the tailback on a second and 10. Gans rolls out for Nebraska, or even at 14. Incomplete near the 47-yard line of Kansas. Joe Gans trying to get a pre-snap recognition. Who's going to come? Because they all could. Third and 10. Nebraska purify the intended receiver, and Nebraska will have to punt it. Football player, he will strike you. Titchener, who's averaging 41 and a half per kick, gets off a clean one. And it is taken at the 35-yard line. Anthony Webb, and Webb is brought down at the 38-yard line. And God, and God bless each and every one of you. And Emily's playing injured today. Em Emily's playing hurt today, Bill. Emily's my heroine. Yeah, she's refusing to go on the injured reserve list. We thank you. Sharp, they fake it to him. Reesing tosses it. And complete, and a first down across the 50 as Fine making the reception. Okay. With his tight end, naked bootleg, get it to Fine. Great, great conception, great execution. First and 10, and again, complete. Herford bumps into the receiver trying to make a block. Receiver was trying to make the make the play, and he, and he blew up fields. Second 11 for Reesing and crew as he rolls out. Throws it downfield and right on the spot. I'll tell you what. Football field. And Dexton Fields picks up 25 yards on that reception. Another first down. This time they're going for six, and they got it. Sharp in the end zone. Touchdown, Jayhawks. With a minute to go in the first quarter, Kansas is on the board again. McAnderson, a nice block to help set that play up. No way. Sharp is a track athlete in high school. That's a mismatch. Kansas capitalized. And the point after is good by Webb. And Kansas takes the lead for the first time today as Kansas. Two were Texas high school quarterbacks. Reesing the Texas 4A player of the year at Lake Travis in Austin. Nobody down there wanted him. Grixby on the return, 30, 35, and Nebraska saying, all right, I guess it's our turn. And right now, the offenses are creating all the favorable matchups. Lawson and Lucky in the backfield as Gans hands it off to Lucky. Lucky 
Cannot break it here. Mortensen makes the tackle. So 182 for KU, 116 for Nebraska as we get ready to wrap up this first quarter here in Lawrence. And Gans wants to throw it and does, but it goes out of bounds, stops the clock with. Gans, four of 10 for 90 plus yards. And this one dropped across the middle on the football field. Anthony Webb, a sophomore out of Dallas South Oak Cliff High School, is deep on Titchener's punt. Webb dropped it, picked it up, Ooh. and then rocked hard near the 30 yard line. And a wild first quarter is finally over here in Lawrence, Kansas, at Memorial Stadium, Cavisco Field. It is Kansas, the eighth ranked team in the country by any poll. They lead it 21 14. We'll be back after this word from Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper Bobber. as Sharp the lone back now beside quarterback Reesing and Sharp who's got a touchdown gets the carry here flag is thrown Sharp on the receiving end and he is brought down after a couple of hard earned yards offside defense number 91 it'll be a five yard penalty second down McAnderson in the backfield now Reesing quick out and he completes it and it's out of bounds near the 43 yard line to Marcus Henry and here with Troy certainly uh, caught the attention nationally when they beat Oklahoma State in the non conference portion of the season and the Cowboys got a big one tonight against Texas down in Oklahoma second down and six for Kansas Reesing finds Henry and short of the first down, well, we'll see where they spot the football. They got Let's see which way it goes. Holding. Defense, number five. The hold occurred on an eligible receiver. Ten-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. And Reesing. Another shotgun. Oh, oh. Nearly picked off as they were bringing the receiver Briscoe. He had to throw the football before he really wanted to. Second and ten for Kansas and McAnderson. They had almost a fumble with Reesing on the handoff. Third and ten at the 43. They come after him. He's got a man and it is complete. And that will move the chains as once again giving Reesing vision to see downfield. First and ten. They fake to Sharp. Reesing got time now. They chase after it. Oh, Fired in the end zone. It's a jump ball and out of play. Intended down there for Marcus Henry. Kansas up 21 14. Looking for more after being down and trading scores. They lead it by seven. Reesing runs right through the defense and he's got a first down as Octavian makes the tackle. Reesing has run for 193 yards and one TD this year. Thrown for two today. In trouble here, scrambling. Gets it off, and it is complete at the 10 yard line. I don't know how he found his man, Derek Fine. But Fine, with the bigger body, fought him for the football and won the contested catch. It's what helped Reeson get this job when he came on last year when Meyer had gotten hurt. And now McAnderson, another TD for Kansas as Brandon McAnderson takes in his second score of the day. And Kansas now up 27 to 14. Man here in the early going. Going for his fourth PAT of the day. And it is good. As Webb, the senior out of Tulsa Union High School, makes it 28 to 14. And Kansas now in control of this one after some back and forth moments early on. We're back on FSN in a moment. This just uh, one of a couple of huge Big 12 games we've got for you. Don't forget later on from the Rocky Mountains, it is Missouri and Colorado in a key Big 12 North game. We're getting a lot of national exposures now, and it's just good for everybody. There's a new energy and enthusiasm on campus right now. Personally, Mark Mangino has done the right things. I think that'll happen, so it should be a fun year. All right, Coach Self, we do appreciate it. Guys, Kansas A football and basketball school right now. There you go, Emily. Uh, thanks so much, Emily. Best of luck to oh, Paul wow. Self right across the slam, Purify trying to stay on his feet, and Purify stumbles, but not until he gets to the 20 yard line. Maurice Purify, first to 10 at the 20. Coach Mangino saying, Don't give up that inside to Purify. 
The fake to Lucky. Gans in trouble. Escapes the rusher. Keeps it. 25 and out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Nebraska, a second and nine on the Jayhawks. 19 with 9.50 to go in this first half. They're going for six in the end zone, and it is caught, and a touchdown purified. Gans, a beautiful pass to lead, beaten on the play, and purified gets his fourth TD of the season. Here comes Henry for the PAT, and Alex Henry takes care of that. So, Nebraska, after giving up three touchdowns, comes back and scores here, and it's 28-21. We'll be back after this word from Dr. Pepper, your local Dr. Pepper Bombers. Nebraska rallying around Joe Gans. He's playing well, and they're rallying around him. And it goes to Herford. 25, 30, and Herford sheds a tackler. Comes right back into it, but still a great return. Little balance, as always, in that Kansas offense. Meyer, the receiver here on this first down play, got a nice block and picks up some pretty good yardage as he gets across the 45 near midfield. Ohio State, a team that's had just a really rough go under first-year head coach Gene Chizik and trying to pull off the upset of the, upset of the Wildcats. Here, Sharp gets the carry. And then also in competition against the South. Missouri's big game tonight against Colorado on FSN later wow. on. Here's Henry! And he takes it down to the five-yard line. Oh, mama. What about the offenses? Kansas is approaching 300 yards of offense with 8.34 to go in the half. And another touchdown. Reesing throws a bullet and fields on the receiving end this time. Or Henry, I beg your pardon. Henry. Yeah, Henry made the, made the reception on the, on the post. Pitch and catch. And Scott Webb for the PAT, and it's 35 to 21 as Kansas, just a minute 14 seconds after Nebraska scored, KU says, take that. Jeez. And we're midway through the second quarter. Both defenses are getting taken apart. The offenses are getting every matchup that they want to get. Webb kicks it off. Andre Jones drops it, picks it up. Jones dances, 15, and hit at the 17-yard line. And also, his nickname is The Mute. They say he doesn't talk very much, but his actions definitely speak louder than any words could. There's eight minutes and 17 seconds to go in the second quarter, folks. Second. Not the game, second quarter. Second and 10 for Nebraska from the 17. Expect the big play. Across the middle this time, and again, it is purified. No, not purified. Beg your pardon. Yes. First and 10 at the 30 for the Huskers. How about this first start of the year for Joe Gaines? Play action. Throwing it here. Nearly picked off. Was that Holt? And it's second and 10 for the Huskers at the 30. Out of the backfield. Lucky is tripped up here. Third and 13. Gans across the oh. middle, nearly picked off by Talib. Anthony Webb, the deep man at his own 33. Good clean kick. Webb makes the fair catch. Close to the day that the first official game was played between Princeton and Rutgers, so we are excited to be a part of college football. This is the fourth annual event. Uh and it's second and 10 now for Kansas at the 38. McAnderson toting it out near midfield stopped at the 49 yard line by T.R. Green is first to 10 Meyer is back in the lineup as a wide out one of the trips on the left side now he sets up in the backfield and a little option and they toss racing to Meyer and he is stopped where uh, Warner Ed Warner you know he doesn't have to use them all but they're all in the playbook Racing again, drills his receiver. This one to Derek Fine, the senior out of Salisaw, Oklahoma. Two touchdowns, no interceptions. Third and less than a yard, and if Reesing keeps and forges ahead down to the 38, that'll move the chains. That's good hustle from the big boy at 6'6", 310. Reesing three TD passes today, hands this one off to McAnderson, who has scored two. And who'd have 
thought that going into this season. They didn't even know if Reesing would start, leave alone have a chance to be a national award winner. He finds Meyer, 30-25, danced uh, on the boundary until Leaf. Meyer and Briscoe to the left. They hand it off to McAnderson. A truck could have made it through that time. What a line. Well, Kansas is averaging 8.1 per play on offense. And the pitch to McAnderson. The five and knocked out of bounds around the three-yard line. Fields and Henry go wide right on a second and two at the three. And in the end zone, incomplete. Trying to connect with Fields. That'll wear on you a little bit. Reesing on the option. McAnderson can't quite squeeze into the end zone. So Nebraska trying to toughen up. So I can remind you that the replay officials, they're looking at every play. It's like they have their own personal TiVo, and if they need more time, they then call to stop it downstairs. No signal yet. But you got to get it. That's the key. They're not worried about style here. They don't, and they forge it in as Texas or the McAnderson takes it in and that is his third TD and it's now 41 21 Wow not them like they have velcro on their hands and the kick is good by Webb and it is 42 21 with 243 to go in this first half of play hey you he's only a freshman <laughs> yeah mom dad send meal money yeah <laughs> Marvin lucky the deep man I mean Kansas could uh, do the same thing this afternoon the way it's going we'll see what Gans comes up with on a first and ten from his 20 drops it off to the safety man and takes it to the 25 yard line he's got one long TD reception here today Pick deflected it. and it is intercepted <laughs> there's that turnover John Larson the 250 pound senior Larson comes up with a pick defensive lineman gets his hands up and deflects it and it's done it, it's deflected in there by the big fella Blakesley Reesing with three TD passes today. McAnderson with three scores. And they fake it to McAnderson and Reesing in trouble. And he spins and is tackled hard. When you, when you look at uh, Kansas' overall numbers. Reesing to throw it here. Got time and complete to fine. It's getting ready for that Big 12 North contest. Here is Reesing to throw it and complete to Briscoe. Skips a tackler. He scores! Wow. Kansas another TD! Boy, he made Tyler Wartman miss. And when Tyler Wartman missed in space, he was gone to the house. Desmond Briscoe, his fifth touchdown. Kansas with still 116 to go in the first half. Webb had hit the upright. No good. So his first miss of the season for Scott Webb, and it's 48-21. And Harden Lucky, one of the deep men here for the Huskers, as Webb boots this one. You know, he's irritated about that miss, so he knocks it all the way deep into the end zone. And they've scored touchdowns on seven straight possessions at the Jayhawks. Unbelievable. It's not so. First and 10. Gans delivers across midfield, and it is complete and hit hard near the 40-yard line. The only way Nebraska can move the football is to throw it, and that puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line. They're doing a good job of keeping Gans clean. 20 yards on that pickup. Lucky out of the backfield. He scoots to the 45. Okay. I mean, it's just been Murphy's Law for the Cornhuskers. Yeah, they were struggling when they were somewhat healthy, and now they are in huge trouble. Right down the middle, Peterson. And he takes it inside the 20, so Nebraska. An outstanding play on both, both ends of it. 35 yards on the play, across the middle again, and a nice pitch and catch there. As Swift had a big game against Texas last week, six catches, 112 yards, and he's, he's a big double move guy. Gans in trouble, and pitches it out of the end zone. Swift in motion, flag thrown, hold everything. Ball start, offense, number 70. Now second and goal from the 15 after the penalty. 25 seconds to go, Nebraska still has two timeouts. Gans across the middle and incomplete. Boy. 
Lucky the lone back behind Gans who goes under center. To Lucky. Out of bounds with 16 seconds to go. It's fourth down, I should say. Yeah. It's fourth and 10. I mean, that's not an easy call in the red zone. Henry, who's six of six, sets up here at the 12 for a 22 yarder, and it is good. So, cut the lead. It's exactly in half. They got, they're halfway there. Kunalik now will do the honors from the 30, and boy, you can't the line drive returnable. Right to him. Herford at the 12. And takes it out to the 38 yard line with five seconds to go. And it looks like they'll just take a knee here it. with five seconds, and that is it. So, Mark wow. Will, Mark will be happy with his offense, but he will have a lot to say to his defense at halftime in that locker room. As an impressive offensive show. Obviously, we've got some things to correct on the defensive side of the ball. Stop the big play. But if we can come out here and get seven on our first possession, then come up with a turnover or a three and out and get a score after that, it's a whole new ball game. He said we put up 24 points on a darn good defense. In uh, 17 quarters now, they have one takeaway. And when your defense is struggling, you have to take it away more than that. Lucky returned the kick. Kansas puts on the pressure on first and 10. And Caleb Blakesley. Lucky the only back next to Gans. On a second and 17 after that sack that cost him seven yards. Here is Gans. Got time. Got a man. Incomplete. It closed quickly there to stop his compatriot, or his counterpart, I should say, Reesing in their offense at Kansas. Third and 17, and Gans delivers a strike across the middle. Peterson. Gans uh, kind of figures in this Murphy's Law season for Nebraska that his only pick today set up a KU easy score. And what a grab by Nate Swift on this pass down to the 35-yard line. He's had four career 100-yard games, and it's first and 10 right here. Gans keeping the football, and KU trying to stay up with him. He sheds tacklers and may have another first down. They can't stop Kansas' passing attack at all. They've been giving up the last three games 346 yards a game on the ground. Here is Lucky out of the backfield. He breaks a tackle and takes it down inside the 15, and it may be another first down. Marlon Lucky lines up behind the quarterback, Joe Gans, getting his first start in place of the injured Sam Keller, who is out for the season with a broken collarbone that was suffered in the Texas game. Lucky on the pitch. KU corrals him, keeps him in bounds. And Oklahoma and Texas playing later tonight. Oklahoma against Texas A&M. Texas and Stillwater to face Oklahoma State. Gans rolling out, still moving, dumps it, and it is incomplete because he was still juggling the football. That was Sean Hill. Getting lucky, Malone back with Gans there. They come after Gans, he fires, and it is complete. Touchdown, purify, an absolute sensational grab, and Gans a gutsy throw because he got rocked. Today, Henry on for the point after and it is good so nebraska wins this opening possession battle gets another td and it's 48 31 nine plays 78 yards jake west will kick it off this time west to kick it off saw herford the deep man and he will get it about the eight yard line up the middle at the 30 got a little wall 40 50 and scampers out of bounds. This guy is absolutely amazing. He's that return game, just like a great running back. Reesing, 20 of 28 for 273 in the first half. Add a few more here as he completes this one to Dexton Fields. Reesing with four TD passes in the Sharp and McAnderson both in the backfield now on a second and eight. McAnderson gets the carry and says, come along for the ride, as Octavian does. And here they run for 215, they pass for 264. You'd think they would like to run it a little bit more just to keep it away from Nebraska since their defense is struggling a bit today. Sharp on the wide run. and But they're starting to get players not only with character, but with good physical abilities. First and 10 at the 31, and Sharp, another one. A little power as well as he takes it second and six now. Huskers trailing 48-31. McAnderson 
A strong run for a couple. Zach Potter makes the tackle. They scholarship him in the summer. He's starting at left guard. They have at the right guard position Chet Hartley, a junior college guy. First down, go ahead there, Dave. First and 10 at the 20. 8.30 and ticking here, third quarter action. Kansas, its first possession of the second half and complete and going out of bounds is Marcus Henry. And they don't have any bad guys. No, they have good character guys and they're coachable. Reesing in the end zone, touchdown Kansas. What a strike again for KU and this one's Briscoe again. And Reesing now with five TD passes. Gino and staff has recruited those guys and developed them to good football players. And the kick is good by Webb as Briscoe who played on a state title team in Dallas at Cedar Hill. And uh, the team was loaded with talent. He's showing you he's got plenty of it here. Touchdown Kansas. He doesn't make mistakes. No penalties, no turnovers today by the Jayhawks. That's playing smart football. Grixby moves up to about the 11, dribbles it. Now it brings it back. 20, 25. And brought down the Buckeyes. Could be coming down to a big battle once again with Michigan, which wouldn't surprise most people if you didn't witness the first three weeks of this season. <laughs> As uh, here, it's Nebraska oh. trying to come back and nearly picked off in the secondary. You hope for Kansas to continue unbeaten and Oklahoma to win out and they would meet in the championship game in right. San Antonio. That would give the league the best opportunity to have a team in the title game. Second and 10, the ball on the 28th. Offside. I guess it was defense successful. with contact. Number 93. Second down. Have everybody back next year. Second down and five. Incomplete. Huskers at the 33. Gans changing the play. Play clock at four. Gets it off in plenty of time. Dumps it across the middle and it's complete. And a first down, I think. Yeah, I think he got past the marker. Peterson, the junior wideout from Grand Island, Nebraska, moves the change. First and ten. They go deep this time and it is incomplete. Harper down. Second and ten from the 39. Gans. And lucky. Incomplete. Third and ten at the 39. Four wideouts. And you're showing blitz. And they come after it. Gans. Over the middle. Picked off by KU. Stucky to the 40. Makes lucky miss and is tackled inside the 25. Darrell Stuckey, a sophomore from Kansas City, as Carl Nix makes the tackle. I'll take you to the turf. First and 10 on the 23. And KU flipping it. Nearly caught, but he didn't have possession. Four wideouts for Reesing and crew. McAnderson stays in to block across the middle, and it is complete down inside the five-yard line as Dexton Fields. Great adjustment and showing flexibility. McAnderson, flag stops play. Randy Crystal. Full start. Offense. The whole line was moving. Center <laughs> didn't snap the ball. The whole line was moving, but that wasn't their fault. No, no, no. Now first and goal from the eight after the penalty and McAnderson looking for his fourth score of the day is brought down and up 55 to 31 second and goal from the seven Reesing all day now flushed out a bit and incomplete Reesing had many made many wrong decisions today that's for sure what an afternoon he's having and another one TD pass Kansas Briscoe gets his third score and racing a school record six touchdown pass today. Boy, it's like shooting fish in a barrel for the true freshman. And 62 to 31. And again, they seem determined to double them up. And that's what it is once more. 62 31 Kansas. Wow. See them shaking the keys, telling Nebraska to hit the road. I wouldn't say just yet, even though it's 62 to 31. Franz Hardy is the deep man on the return from Webb's kick. And he circles to the 20 and then dances out of bounds around the 23. Now those, those are 
some moves. Don't stop. Last year they set it with 51-8-2-1 in the Kansas State game. Gans on a second and short. And it is incomplete intended for Swift. You need to throw out what you put up already to match KU and shut them down. And going, speaking of shutting down, out. and loose one, and KU signaling they've got it. Yes, Kansas ball. Stucky, I believe, with the recovery. The call stands. Is there indisputable evidence? Does he still have the football as he's going to the turf? After video review, the play stands is called. First down, Kansas. And I think to go plus 14 on the year. And first and 10 at the 30 of the Huskers. And Reese dancing around with time. Now chased out of there. He'll unload it. And it is complete at the 22-yard line. Jeff Foster. That's a problem. They have 11 takeaways on the season and nine sacks. And they run it here. About a nine. It's amazing. McAnderson on a third and one. First down easy as he strolls down to the 11-yard line. Pulls off number 24, Bill. All right, thank you, KU. Virgin to score again, do they? Yes. Getting in the end zone, Jake Sean, but another touchdown. You can't break away from this one. You'll miss something big. Jake Sharp gets another TD, and Kansas rolling in for his compatriot Sharp. Scott Webb with the PAT, and 69 to 31 with 334 to go in the third. Are you kidding me? Man. Drive. That was the highlight for Nebraska. Since then, lights out. Hardy. Deep on the return and picks it. 20. Watch out as Hardy nearly breaks through. Take a 7 0 lead and Kansas scores in the next 10 possessions. 10 straight touchdowns. Ridiculous. Nebraska scored on its first two and had a 14 7 lead. Either turnover or punt, and boy, boom, Kansas right down the field. You go back out in the field and you're down by more points. Second and one. And across the middle, and it is complete. As the Huskers goes for 150 yards, Marlon Lucky six for 83 in a TD. This one picked off by KU. Mike Revere with the interception. So Kansas now that's four turnovers. His face and big bodies. I don't think he's so over there. Kansas with McAnderson, and here's McAnderson who you might think on that play. We're talking about Texas Tech hung 70 on him. And they're in danger of giving up more than that today. Along with their demise, it's amazing that we'll call this play here as McAnderson comes out of that little bump and goes ahead to the 50. But third and one at midfield. Sharp gets the carry. And another first down to the 45-yard line of Nebraska. Four wideouts again for KU as Reesing ready to unload it on a record setting day for him with six TD passes already. It's almost like that there's no pass rush that Reesing has to worry about, and all he's doing is playing perimeter catch with his wideouts, just like in seven on seven at practice. They're at 916 yards of offense here today. Sharp bumped hard and stopped at the well, FSN football scares Nebraska. Something's got them frightened. It's 69 31 on a homecoming stomping in Lawrence. The Jayhawks pounding the Huskers in Big 12 action. And McAnderson in with the quarterback Reesing. Blitzing is Nebraska. Reesing escapes it. And in another great catch by Briscoe. Henry has six for 101 yards to lead him with one touchdown. And Sharp dances across to about the 28-yard line. Now that probably scares OSU. It's like, uh-oh, it's same old format. But uh, they got to be excited in Stillwater. Reesing is sacked on this play here as Nebraska comes through with Tyler Wartman. And yeah. Oklahoma State is a different team in Stillwater. They, they are tough to deal with in Stillwater. Here is Reesing. Complete Briscoe now couldn't hang on. Yep. With Webb for a 51-yard field goal attempt. 
Scott Webb whose best is 48 and this was well short and Nebraska will take over. Back to the live action. Gans under pressure, throwing it. Nearly picked off. It is picked off. Another INT for the University of Kansas. Justin Thornton. And Thornton rumbles down to about the 37-yard line as Thornton gets his fourth pick of the year. We've had uh, to summarize it with 100 points here today. And Kansas still firing and throwing it as this one is complete to Dexton Fields. And, and Reesing. With a record-setting day of six touchdown passes, he gives to McAnderson, who has scored three times today. He was never sacked. He did extend plays and buy time with his feet, though. And McAnderson, still on his feet, goes out of bounds down near the five-yard line. So McAnderson, will he score again as he is wrapped up around the six-yard line? Make it starting to get to the point where you start to feel sorry for him. McAnderson, the infield, and sorry for him. Touchdown number four on the day for McAnderson. And can you say 75 points for Kansas? Eisenhart couldn't come up with a tackle. And what I'm amazed is many of their fans, as Webb hits this one, have remained. I mean, they have as good of fans as you can see in the country. Uh, they haven't been treated like this anywhere ever. Kansas 76, Nebraska 31. So here comes Webb's kickoff. Could we just replay that and I'll lay out for a minute. And Niles Paul will down it there and it'll be first to 10. What a scene that could be if Missouri can continue to win and they got a key game against Colorado you'll see on FSN later this evening. Here's what's left for KU as Nebraska keeps it on the ground here. To say back in July that I would have predicted eight, no, I, I really can't honestly say that. Again, Halu with the ball as Nebraska now, uh, you know, allowing points. And the Huskers with Halu again. Four plays cost them four games. Well, they certainly learned from it, didn't they? They did, and, and it was for different reasons they weren't finishing football games. So, you know, I, I, I think that. Third and six for Nebraska at the 34, and Gans completes this one. And down the sideline for Nebraska. All that matters is what you and I think. Thank you, Emily. First to 10 at the 47. Well, and Dave, you're talking about second down and eight for the Huskers. Gans with eight minutes to go, flips it in the backfield, and ball carrier across the 35 to the 30 and and you just do your routine like Emily was talking about no matter who you're playing or what the deal is yeah and I think and everything else takes care of itself always has always will second and five and a lucky back in the ball game and he is brought down near the 19 yard line by Jake Laptab Halo in the backfield again Nebraska reshuffles and it is third and two, and they come to that right side where all those bodies are. And Halu has got the first down, and down near the 10-yard line before at the 11. Halu met with resistance at the 10-yard line. Iowa State, I believe, as a final, has beaten the Kansas State Wildcats today up in uh, Ames, Iowa. Who'd have thought that? A team with one win on the year. And Halu on the reception is stopped around the eight yard line. Gans in the end zone caught it, but he was out. And they go forward on fourth and seven, the ball at the eight yard line. Gans again looking for Purify and got him this time for a TD. Purify gets the touchdown, beating Harris on the play. And Gans' his fourth TD pass of the day. Three of them to Purify, and they'll go for two here. Lucky in the left slot. Gans going right across the middle, and it is complete for the two-point conversion to Terrence Nunn, I believe. I beg your pardon, it's 80s Swift. So pick up two and it's 76-39, arena ball. Uh, amazing, 76-39 as Kunalik uh, to kick it off again.
And Stuckey and Herford are deep, and Herford at the 10. 20. Still on his feet. Herford, boy, he is shifty. He falls. Kansas Jayhawks. Remember Meyer, we told you early on about uh, he quarterbacked here last year, had some injuries, and then it became a battle between he and Reesing. Reesing won it. And now Meyer's been all over the field in different roles, and he gets the quarterback here. Meyer on the year, Dave mentioned earlier, 15 of 19 for 130 yards and two TDs in the passing game. He scored a touchdown today on the receiving end. And carrying the football again is Quigley here. Meyer on third and six. Hands it off and not much doing. Well, close to first down for Quigley. And the handoff straight ahead and Quigley. Minute 25 and counting, and Kerry Meyer taken over after a record setting day for Reesing, who had six touchdown passes. New Kansas mark. Quigley going wide and tucked down from behind. 51,910 to celebrate the unbeaten Jayhawks going 9 0. And again, Quigley running it. And that will be the final play of the game as Kansas, eight ranked. In the AP, the coaches pull the BCS and unbeaten at 9 and 0. 5 and 0 in conference play. The Huskers fall to 4 and 6, 1 and 5 in Big 12 and have lost 5 in a row and yes, 9 and 0. Here they come.